Hi, Mom. Hello. Okay, I wanted to ask you a few questions about lung cancer. My name is Maxine Ritchie, and in the year 2001, I was diagnosed with lung cancer stage 1B. Hi, I'm Doris Taylor, and uh, I was diagnosed with adenocarcinoma non-small cell. Well, I was looking at the Lung Cancer Alliance report card that has some statistics about lung cancer, and as far as the number of deaths, Lung cancer will claim 162,000 lives in 2008. My brother first uh, passed away from lung cancer, then his son, who was 30, passed away with it, then my mother, then my sister, and then my daughter. So I, I have a, quite a history of lung cancer. I was looking at my email and I happened to notice an email from a lady in our congregation. She then talked about her own experience with her uh, x-ray that detected lung cancer unbeknownst to her. And because of this I requested an x-ray and that's how my cancer was diagnosed. Another thing about lung cancer is the stigma that it's associated with smoking. And um, unfortunately, about 17% of the 162,000 are non-smokers, um, never smokers actually. There's a stigma that you smoke. It's uh, caused by smoking and it's all your fault. I never smoked ever. Uh, my nephew never smoked. Uh, and so I feel the stigma of lung cancer is the smoking stigma. I feel that people have a twisted perception of lung cancer, believing that lung cancer is caused by smoking and nothing else. And as I discovered, there are many people who have never smoked a cigarette in their lives or been really exposed to secondhand smoke, who nonetheless were diagnosed with lung cancer. So I feel that lung cancer is looked upon more as something we do to ourselves rather than, than something that happens to us. What's really discouraging is that youth that are under the age of 18 that are daily smokers, and that's 32,000 new smokers each year. Over 15% of the high school students in California smoke cigarettes. Big Tobacco continues to develop a new campaign specifically designed to addict young people. It's really kind of a sad statement. Because lung cancer is looked upon as almost a self-made, self-inflicted or self-fulfilling disease, lung cancer is not funded with the same enthusiasm as, say, other diseases in our society. I certainly don't believe there's enough funding for lung cancer research, and I work for a committee now that's trying to get more funds for research. The bottom line is... The bottom line is... The bottom line is lung cancer's five-year survival rate must be increased from the dismal 15% that it is right now. Lung cancer is curable if caught early enough. We need to have more early detection. Lung cancer can be survived. You can beat it, so to speak. Sometimes you can't, but if you can, then you want to fight, just like me, because I have a lot to live for, and I'm so very happy to be here with all of you. Thank you so much. That's my take. Okay, thanks, Mom. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. bye. The bottom line is, people cannot be replaced. The government needs to set aside security funds for lung cancer research, or we're just left with security blankets to remember our loved ones by.